Welcome to the official iNavX support video channel uh, by Jim Sales. There are three ways to create waypoints on an iPhone and an iPad using iNavX. On an iPhone, if you simply tap the screen, you'll be presented with this little window and you select Waypoint. Waypoint will appear where you tapped. You can select it again, make the name field turn gray, and from there you can move it, or tap the name field and you can select Edit. From the Edit menu, you can rename it to any name that you want. You can change the icon color or you can change the icon to other things. If you lock this waypoint in place it will stay where it is and won't uh, allow you to move it until you unlock it again. Second way to create a waypoint is from the waypoints menu, the waypoint screen and in the upper right hand corner tap the plus symbol create a new waypoint and you can do the very same things on your iPhone to create and edit a waypoint from this screen. The third option uh, is called long tap but that requires a settings change so we're going to find the long tap new waypoint item here and toggle that to the on position and what that does is when you tap and hold your finger on there, it will, on the chart, it will create a waypoint. And again, the same editing functions are available. Creating waypoints on an iPad is a very similar process. It just looks a little bit different. Again, tap the screen. In this case, tap the waypoint icon in the menu that appears. You can tap to move and edit in the same way that you were able to do using uh, the iPhone. Long tap and adding waypoints from the waypoint screen act pretty much the same on the iPad as they do on the iPhone. Hey, if you found this helpful, why don't you click on the thumbs up to give me a like. And while you're at it, subscribe to your official iNavX support channel by Jim Sales.